Hey guys, what is up? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. So today is just gonna be like a get stuff done vlog. I have quite a bit of stuff to do and not a lot of time. So, what we're doing today, I'm just gonna go ahead and make like a little list. We have to get the dishes done. I want to put away the clothes that I that my mom washed for me. Um, usually I wash my own clothes, but this was just stuff that was like thrown in our hamper and I guess she washed them for me, so I need to put them away. I need to make my bed. I need to do the dishes. I don't know if I already said that. Um, and Annie has to go to the vet because she needs more medicine and for her to get a refill, they have to see her. But I also am babysitting and the vet doesn't reopen until three and I have to get the kids at three. We are going to go get the kids first and then we're gonna take Annie to the vet and then we're gonna bring Annie home. It'll be all good. I'm not worried about it. We got some stuff to do. It is 1.07 right now. Oh, and I also have to take a shower um, real quick and get ready for the day as well. So we got some stuff to do. And we also have to give Crystal her medicine, but that's going to be the next thing that I do. Like, the very first thing. I'm watching Annie go to the potty outside right now. So, the other thing. Are any of you guys going to the Arnold this year in Ohio? Um, because I'm most likely going to be going. I don't know um, exactly what's going to happen as far as, like, who's going with me. If you guys um, have been around for a little bit, you guys know I went to the Fit Expo in 2018 in Chicago, and it was so much fun. I had a blast. So I can only imagine what the Arnold is going to be like. Um, and for the past couple years, uh, Brittany Atwood has been there, so I'm a little like, maybe I should go. This is what my dog does. <laughs> yeah. Come inside because we're pointing a camera at you. Okay, so I got Crystal's medicine. We're going to give this to her real quick. Hi, baby. Kind of like first thing that I do is make sure that their food has like water in it. Hey, can you let me mix it? Okay, so here's Crystal. She's like trying to get to her food, so I got to do this quickly. So if you're wondering why I'm doing this, if you're new here, she hates this, by the way. I know, baby. I know. And she's going to fight me all the way. But it's for your health, baby. So if you're wondering why I just did that to my ferret, um, my ferret has insulinomia, basically meaning she has diabetes, and I have to give her um, a steroid shot, steroid thing, every single day, every 12 hours. So, it's a lot. And then we have Stella Aubrey. This is my little baby. They need their nose cut. So, I'm going to do that today too. Add that to the list of things. So, okay. You know what? They're eating right now. So, I'm not going to cut their nails at this moment in time. Um, but I think I am just going to go ahead and go take my shower real quick. I'll be right back. So, I get asked this question all the time. How do I keep my hair bright obviously the front part faded um because of it being pink and my roots are starting to show so how do i keep my hair so bright first things first i don't wash my hair every day i know some people are probably like gross i wash my hair um probably every two days i don't keep track because it's not good to wash your hair every single day washing your hair every single day actually strips the oils from your hair and it doesn't make it as healthy and bright. So I'm going to show you a few products that I use to keep my hair in check. So first things first, I do not use heat on my hair every single day. So I've had my hair styled like this for um, two days now. Uh, today I wash it because I can see the oils kind of coming down on my hair. And I'm letting them like soak in and sit for a little bit because that's really good for your hair. Um, so first things first, my shampoo and conditioner. I use the Bioterra from Sally. It is sulfate free and that was like something that I was really looking for in a shampoo. So my first two times having Galaxy hair, I did not use this shampoo. I used like your Tresemme and 
those types of shampoos, the ones that you can like find anywhere, and I feel like they damaged my hair. My first time having um, Galaxy hair, I couldn't run my fingers through it because it was so damaged. However, I talked to my hairstylist and she told me, you know, chill on the products, go find you a good shampoo and conditioner, and you know, don't wash it every single day because not only that, you're stripping the color out of it as well. Um, my hair actually doesn't bleed anymore right now. When I get it done, my hair bleeds a ton. Like, it turns the bathtub blue type of bleed. I, in California, I had to wash my hair in the sink. Obviously, if I don't wash my hair for a couple days, I don't just, like, let it, like, bleh. I use a dry shampoo. I actually use two of them. I got them reduced, so this was the one I started with. This has argan oil, vitamin E. I got this one at Sally's. I'm like halfway through this bottle and I love this thing. It's a little expensive, but I got it reduced so I don't know how much it is normally. But I was at Myers and I found a hydrate and replenish. There's no sulfite, there's no dyes, there's nothing in this that I feel like is bad. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a professional so I can't tell you. But this is the one that I use from Myers, and the only reason I bought this one was because I got it for two dollars so smells good and you just like and run it through your hair and that's how I keep my hair also um, I don't know if I'd recommend this one I've had it for a really long time um, but when I do use some type of curling iron or my straightener or whatever use a heat protectant um, the hairspray I use is big sexy hair but other than that I don't really use hairspray um, I'm my hair, I got lucky with my hair. I don't, my hair holds for a really long time, so I don't necessarily have to use hairspray or anything like that. So yeah, that's how I keep my hair crisp. Yeah, we're gonna go do dishes real quick, and then we're gonna come back into my room and clean up and all that stuff, so. Alright, so my kitchen is a freaking mess. This is just from like two days. Like, I'm not even joking. Um, this normally wouldn't like be part of this but we're putting my air fryer away so and in my like sink and stuff there's not like a ton of dishes they're just big dishes so that's why it's overflowing we're not like terribly nasty people i'm gonna do some of the dishes by hand and i'm going to put some of them in my dishwasher because that needs to be run and like i don't know we just like i've been kind of sick the last couple days so <clears throat> we just need stuff put away you know I just got the dishes done and put them in the dishwasher. Um, our dishwasher sucks, so I have to wash most of them by hand. Like, the only reason I put them in the dishwasher is to sanitize them. That's it. We gotta get packing to go. I don't think I'm gonna have time to hang up my clothes. I'm gonna try, and we're gonna see, but I don't think I'm gonna have time because I don't have my watch on. It's already 2.25 by now. So, yeah, I'm going to go pack my bag real quick. Okay, so it is 2.33. Um, I got my stuff ready to go. Real quick, I'm going to clip their nails. And then I'm going to see what time it is and go from there. So sometimes they'll just let you clip them. And she likes to move a lot, so scruffing her is probably the best option. So 
so she's gonna get a little treat annie is right there on my foot you guys can't see her but she's there but yeah she's gonna get herself a little treat so she did that effortlessly now the other one not so much this is like me and ferret form for my mom ow annie can you please get off my foot i always heard like cutting your children's nails is like the scariest thing ever she always does this oh my goodness and then it looks like i'm hurting her and, and i promise you guys i'm not her like their parents would pick them up like that and she's got some sharp claws and it's like she's bored nails are clipped we don't have to worry about them getting caught in anything so next thing i'm going to tackle is getting my clothes put away and my dog really wants one of these treats Feel like she knows she's going I don't know why my mom always does this she folds the clothes backwards it's almost 240 however I live pretty close so I don't really have to like rush I gotta change the battery in this real quick. You going for a ride? <laughs> and suddenly, I don't feel safe anymore. Hi there. <laughs> you better chill. Don't you dare bite me. Don't bite me. Now she's trying to throw stuff. I swear, nobody gets as hyped to go anywhere like my dog does. <laughs> He's not even that serious. All right, so I just parallel parked and there was like a group of guys standing there just watching me no pressure at all like it's, it's fine i can't like i'm a really good driver um, as far as like parallel parking and like parking in general i feel like regular parking into like just pulling in straight is harder for me than parallel parking is so like i just did it in my first try if i was to park in like a regular parking lot i would have to pull out and pull back in it's stupid but whatever we're just waiting for the kids all right so i just got back um to my cousin's house with the kids i just dropped annie off she got her medicine everything she's doing good i need to edit a thumbnail real quick and then i need to upload the video that's going up for today we are home now and i'm about to make dinner in the instant pot of course because a stove we don't use her we don't know her actually so i'm going to be making beef and broccoli for dinner tonight all right so i just pulled everything out that i need to make the sauce so that's what i'm gonna do real quick i will leave the link to this recipe in the description as well okay so to start this off we're gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of garlic one tablespoon of ginger i didn't have fresh ginger so i just used the squeeze kind Half a cup of soy sauce. I use liquid aminos and I would recommend using probably about one fourth 
of a cup because it was really strong, one cup of beef broth, and one third cup of brown sugar. I didn't have sesame oil, so I just used olive oil and it came out just fine. Then you're going to set your instant pot to saute mode, add in one teaspoon of olive oil, and then saute your meat just to brown it. And then you're going to add everything to the instant pot, stir it, make sure it's all incorporated with the meat, and then you're going to go ahead and put your lid on, seal it, and set it for 10 minutes on high pressure and cook it. So once it cooks, you go ahead and quick release. And if you're wondering why I have that pan behind my Instant Pot, it's because the steam goes up and we don't want it to ruin our cabinets. So we go ahead and put the pan behind it for right now until we get one of those covers for the steam because it will ruin your cabinets if you let it. Once the Instant Pot's um, red button goes down for the Ninja Foodi, I don't know if any other Instant Pot has this feature, but I know the foodie does, and that lets you know that you can go ahead and open up the Instant Pot. So once you do this, go ahead and set the Instant Pot back to saute mode, and we are going to add a flurry to it. So that is one fourth cup of cornstarch with three eighths cup of water. Now I do recommend using cold water because it's going to mix so much quicker. And once you do that, go ahead and pour it into the pot with the meat and it's going to thicken up very quickly. If you want a sauce that's thicker than a snicker, then go ahead and add another flurry to it. Although I felt like it was okay the way it was, it did thicken up as it cooled down. So once you are able to do that, you're gonna go ahead and add your broccoli. I would suggest steaming it ahead of time because I put it back in the Instant Pot and set it to one minute to cook and it actually I probably shouldn't have done that it was not my favorite thing ever so I wouldn't recommend it it basically disintegrated I mean there was like no broccoli there but whatever so I went ahead and served that with some rice <laughs> All right, I told them I was leaving like 10 minutes ago, so we gotta go. I really gotta start telling people to like tell me 10 minutes before you're gonna leave because I'm late to everything. Like, I was late to my own birth. So, go on, I got my pre-workout. So, yeah. Bye. Lunges are not my favorite thing in the world. I could do forever without doing lunges, but they're necessary. So, we go ahead and do our lunges. Um, I did 12, so 12 on each side. Then we went ahead and went into just some regular goblet squats. And then we went in with some kettlebell swings. This is another exercise that I could deal without, but it just, it takes my breath away, so I know it's working me. Make sure when you come up that you are squeezing that booty. This is all about the booty. And then we're going in with some deadlifts. So normally I like to deadlift with a bar but we were at planet fitness and it's january so you guys already know planet fitness is packed not my favorite gym in the world but whatever i don't even think that they had free bars they, it was like smith machines so i'm not sure why that is but whatever then we went ahead and went into hip thrusts i actually had people around me when i was doing this so it was very awkward but I did it, so if you guys are scared to go to the gym or something because people are around you and you don't want to look weird or whatever, just go. I did it. You can do it too. And then we go in with the hip abductors. Good for the booty, and you know. So after that, I went ahead and did some jumping jacks with it as well, just to kind of finish off the workout on a good note. 
so I will have this whole workout typed out in the description so you guys can go ahead and screenshot it and take it to the gym with you. If you guys do do the workout and you post on Instagram, please feel free to tag me. I would love to see you guys doing these workouts. So after that, I just went ahead and did 10 minutes on a cardio machine. Probably should have done more. We're getting better with it, I promise. Okay, vlog. Russian checking in. 2020 <laughs> is your year. Crush your goals. Defeat your goals. Tiffany, I wanted to say about that. Do it. I don't know. Just do it. They literally almost made me fall off this machine. They're playing Youngblood and Black Bear. I'm dying. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here. I'm back from the gym. I'm about to go take a shower and go to bed. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we always want you here. I love you guys and I will be here tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day.